Cup on Sunday, but fans will also be aware of the bigger picture, knowing that plenty of new signings are needed in the summer window. A host of players have been linked with moves to United. At the end of the season, one of which is Borussia Dortmund attacking ace Daniel Malin, who could head to Old Trafford in a permanent swap deal with Jadon Sancho. The Dutchman has 11 goals in 19 Bundesliga starts this season, also netting once in the Champions League, and he is capable of thriving right across the attack. Another report has stated that Dan Ashworth wants to take Newcastle United midfielder Bruno Guimaraes with him to the Red Devils. In the summer, assuming a deal is agreed to make the Englishman the club's new sporting. Director, meanwhile, Juventus centre-back Gleisen Bremer has been backed to bolster United's defence, with Sir Jim Ratcliffe reportedly willing to trigger his release clause at the Serie A Giants. The 26-year-old has won 2.9 aerial duels per game in the competition this season, as well as making 3.9 clearances per match, and he could be viewed as Lisandro Martinez's long-term partner. Man United want to sign one of league's top midfielders, according to a new claim from Bayern Conora News via Sport Witness. Manchester United are considering making a move for Weston McKennie this summer, with the American currently plying his trade at Juventus.in terms of other Premier League clubs, Fulham and Arsenal are also credited with interest in the report, while Dortmund and RB Leipzig are also mentioned as potential suitors, too. Juve want to extend his current deal beyond 2025, but these clubs are making life difficult for them, putting his agent in a strong bargaining position. McKenney is arguably a surprise option to come in and strengthen United's midfield options in the upcoming summer window, considering his stock fell during a disappointing spell at Leeds United. He made 19 appearances in the Premier League on loan last season, but ultimately failed to help keep them in the top flight. The 25-year-old has enjoyed something of a resurrection at Juve in 2023-24, however, with USA head coach Greg Berhalter hailing him recently. He's proven to be one of the best players at Juventus this year and one of the top midfielders in Serie A. It shows his mentality and his growth as a person and it shows that he's able to take these obstacles and continue on and keep performing. I think that's a marker of a really good player. There would be question marks over whether United could do better than McKenney, especially given the manner in which he struggled to adapt to the English game at Leeds, but he is still a fairly young player and Eric Ten Hag could believe he can get the best out of him. Point seven assists in Serie A this season outline his creative quality in midfield, and he has also averaged 1.9 clearances and 1.6 tackles per game in the competition, showing that he can be an effective all-round player. Top midfielders in his league, according to a fresh transfer update. Man United transfer news the Red Devils are still buoyant after their thrilling 4-3 win over Liverpool in the FA Cup on Sunday, but fans will also be aware of the bigger picture, knowing that plenty of new signings are needed. Joao Neves at Benfica, Jared Branthwaite at Everton, Serho Garassi at Stuttgart. Team Talk Montage Despite the uncertainty surrounding the ownership situation at Manchester United, they are still looking to bolster the squad in the upcoming transfer windows. United have endured a difficult start to the 2023-24 campaign and they may need more signings in January. To get back into the top four, their scouts have been tracking a number of players all over the world. And manager Eric Ten Hag also has a list of potential targets. While looking back at our exclusive stories from the last four months, we've compiled a list of every player United are currently looking at. Defenders Antonio Silva United are desperate to reinforce their back line in 2024, and they are currently pursuing Benfica defender Antonio Silva.
but Team Talk understands that United will have to offload at least one high-profile centre-back before they can sign the 20-year-old, who has an £86.7 million release clause. Jean-Claire Tadibo United were linked with Tadibo in the summer transfer window and look set to reignite their interest in the defender in 2024. Team Talk sources expect Nice, who are owned by Sir Jim Ratcliffe, to demand a fee upwards of £43.5 million for the France international. Jared Branthwaite Branthwaite has starred for Everton this season and Team Talk recently revealed that United are listing the 21-year-old as their prime defensive target from within the Premier League. But Sean Dyche's side will demand a mega offer if they are to allow him to depart Mark Gahey. Since joining Crystal Palace from Chelsea in 2021, Gahey has established himself as one of the best centre-backs in the Premier League. While Team Talk confirmed that United's interest in the England international is genuine, any move is going to have to wait until the summer transfer window. Lenny Yoro Yoro is enjoying an exceptional breakthrough campaign at Lille and his performances have caught the attention of some of the biggest clubs in Europe. Team Talk can confirm that United want to bring the 18-year-old centre-back to Old Trafford, as they are looking for a long-term investment, Lenny Yoro celebrating for Lille, Thiago Santos alongside Yoro, United are also interested in one of his teammates at Lille. Santos, who plays at right-back, joined Lille from Portuguese club Estoril in the summer and has managed to impress United's scouts. Goncalio Inacio, while Inacio has been linked with a move to Liverpool, Team Talk recently revealed that the sporting defender is also one of United's prime targets. Edmund Tapsoba, Tapsoba is currently on United's radar but we understand that Bayer Leverkusen are determined not to sell in January, as they are fighting for the Bundesliga title. Robin Lund Team Talk has learned that scouts from United and Liverpool have watched Norman play for Real Sociedad this season and they have been impressed by his performances, Jeremy Frimpong, even though Frimpong recently signed a new deal at Bayer Leverkusen. Team Talk understands that it won't be an obstacle for a potential move in future transfer windows. United manager Eric Ten Hag is a huge fan of the right-back, who has also been linked with Barcelona and Bayern Munich in recent weeks. Federico De Marco United are in the market for another left-back and Inter Milan's Federico De Marco has been shortlisted by their recruitment team. Sources have told Team Talk that they have watched the 26-year-old on several occasions and are keen to do a deal in January. Midfielders Joao Neves has become one of the most highly rated young players in Europe and United have been tracking the Benfica midfielder for over a year, according to Team Talk sources. But Ten Hag's side face major competition for the 19-year-old as he is a potential target for Chelsea and a number of Saudi pro league sides, Joao Palhinha Palhinha nearly joined Bayern Munich in the summer, but he returned to Fulham after the deal collapsed on. Transfer deadline day. Team Talk has since revealed that United have joined the race for his signature and Fulham are seeking a £60 million fee. Asan Awadrogo Awadrogo is enjoying an impressive breakthrough season at Schalke and has reportedly been billed as the German Paul Pogba. Team Talk sources can confirm that United, Chelsea, and Bayern Munich have all taken an active interest in the 17 year old midfielder, who could cost around £15 million. Forwards Serho Garassi Garassi has enjoyed a Sensational start to the season with Stuttgart and his form has caught the attention of a number of Premier League sides.